What you're currently witnessing is a very sleep deprived Becca trying to process and make sense of the weekend that she's just had and trying to put it into words for you. So good luck trying to understand what I'm about to say. So this weekend I attended my fourth summer in the city and the only word I could use to describe it is overwhelming. This was my first time experiencing it at the London XL, so purely in terms of size, it was on a much, much bigger scale. I've been to Creator Day once before and I went again this year and I think it's totally worth it if you make videos because you get a totally different perspective than you may if you just went on the weekend. And I think the panels are really interesting as well. One of the panels that really stood out to me was the Instagram panel. Maybe that's because my friend Harry Hitchens was on it, I don't know. He made loads of really good points, so well done Harry. And there was also a couple, like several other people that represented a kind of difference sides of Instagram so there was a guy from Instagram and then there was another guy who does illustrations. I found some of the points really interesting and I've never really thought much about Instagram. I have it for my own personal use but I don't really use it in terms of YouTube but maybe I should start looking into that. After Creator Day it was the main weekend and that was just plain crazy. It was absolutely mental. I went to several panels, I went to YouTube for good, I went to Ethnicity and Diversity which was really interesting because I think I'm quite ignorant when it comes to those kind of issues but Taha who moderated it made some really good points and it generated a really good discussion and I left feeling very educated which is obviously what we want. And then I also went to the small YouTubers panel which I go to every year and I absolutely love it because I find it so hashtag relatable. Super Sam stuff was on the panel and I felt very proud and very pleased for him to be on there because he made some really eloquent points and lots of the issues raised were very relevant I think and when I left I just felt the need to create and you know it encouraged me to keep doing what I'm doing maybe just upload a bit more than once every two months. But I think hands down, the thing that absolutely made Summer in the City for me was the people. I got to meet up with some friends that I haven't seen in two years and that live abroad, and then I got to meet up with people that I haven't seen in a couple of months or don't see that regularly. But I also got to chat to new people that I'm friends with online and through YouTube and Twitter, but I've never actually met face to face. Over the course of the weekend, pretty much every single person I met was very genuine and down to earth. And I think that's the benefit of the small YouTuber community because everyone's on a level playing field. Everyone was really up for a chat and hanging out, and it wasn't just a high I really like your stuff and then replying thanks for talking to me and basically cutting you off. The whole creative viewer divide is obviously quite a big topic in YouTube that I would see larger creators that I admire their work and I'd want to go up to them and be like I really like your stuff keep doing what you're doing but I would feel like they would see me simply as a fan honestly hate that word please never use that word instead of a fellow creator. Because at the end of the day, numbers don't matter. They're irrelevant. We all enjoy making videos, we all enjoy watching videos, so surely we're here for the same thing regardless of whether you have 100,000 subscribers or whether you have 500 subscribers. But overall, I met absolutely incredible people and it was just so nice to put a Twitter or a YouTube name to an actual physical human. Something I didn't realise until this weekend is how noticeable my hair was. I didn't realise that people actually look for the hair when they're looking for me. My friends would come up to me and be like, oh yeah, I spotted your hair and knew it was you. So it was basically a big game to spot the fritz. Overall, I had an absolutely incredible weekend and if you haven't been to somewhere in the city before, definitely 100% go next year. And if you're a creator, I would 100% recommend going to Creator Day because it's really helpful, it's really nice and it's a nice gentle introduction to the weekend. If you went to somewhere in the city, let me know what you got up to in the comments because I'd really be interested to hear about other people's experiences. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully it won't be two months before I see you next. See you soon, bye.